going on fam it's your boy mike back at it again uh so since you clicked the video and you've already read the title hopefully you know this is not a mic check it's not a backtrack i'm back with another let's play series a new one this time we're playing uh psychonauts uh, i got really um interested in playing this game again because uh if you hadn't heard the news psychonauts 2 is coming out uh, it's coming up pretty soon as of the time of this recording and i just want to replay the first one i haven't played this game since maybe 2006 2007 i remember really liking it. it's got uh good writing um the, it was pretty fun the story's good it's pretty funny uh and yeah this is actually the first let's play where i've actually played the game before because uh, last time cyber shadow uh that was a brand new game but this is like a little revisit down memory lane uh before the second one comes out because i really want to play that and i'll hopefully be able to in a way better setup but uh for now i also don't know if this game's gonna really work as well on this old gear so this episode's gonna be kind of short kind of a test so if you're watching this everything worked and if you're not watching this i'm talking to nobody right now uh so let me get into the game uh i'll just probably run through the intro and uh Maybe get into the first level, and then we'll call it there. If everything works out fine, the next episode should be longer, and uh, we'll we'll get into Psychonauts. I think it's a fun game. It's a, it'll be. I think it'd be fun to watch too, because there's a story and there's like you know cutscenes and things, so people watching can kind of watch it like a show. I guess if you don't play games, it's even better, because you know I'll take you through the whole thing. Anyway, let's dig in here. Cool, so hopefully everything's recording. Uh, so just to kind of go over the, the story a little bit. Uh, this guy's name is Raz, he's the main character, and Psychonauts is about a summer camp where... start a new game. Where kids go to learn psychic the powers to become Psychonauts. Mind. Let's let my man explain. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. Gotta itch, my bad. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach <laughs> Oleander. Dogen. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. <laughs> yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Whoa! Light monster! <laughs> Formation. It's resist 
thing. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get! Get! In! <laughs> My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Duh. But everybody calls me. Oh my god. Me Legs are trembling. Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? L listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. <laughs> do you do that? No. Well, once, kind of. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Big plans. Alright, let's get this, uh... I think I had one already. Let's... Just while I was testing the game, so let's... Overwrite that shit. Yep. Start over from the beginning. There are no spaces or underscores, so... It's gonna be my name. See each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out!
Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these Psy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. I like the same voice. You have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> that guy looks so familiar. Camera preferences in the journal. Okay, cool. You don't want to be late for basic braining. Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I heard this one time a kid was late for basic braining, and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue. But the kid had just drank a six pack of soda, and so when the coach <laughs> shook him up, he exploded. Jesus. Soda? A fucking kid. Anyway, so here's basically the game, right? Is uh, your Raz, you got some psychic powers. And you're at summer camp to learn how to use them better so you can become a psychonaut. Which is, I guess, a secret agent. I don't even remember that part. Uh, that goes into people's minds and shit. So basically, the game's like Inception. If you've ever played Inception, never played, uh, watched Inception, it's about going into people's minds and stuff. Uh, the game itself, though, is more like a. 3D kind of platforming game, kind of like a Mario 64 or something like that, um, and it's pretty fun. Got a loose side card, collect nine of these, and you can build a. Okay, that's what the guy said. Mm -hmm. Your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of titanium, a rare psychoreactive mineral, which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've had to run this. I tried it a little bit. Uh, earlier, when I was testing everything, uh, I gotta run this at like six or what, seven something by 480. So, you know, for technical people out there, that's like lower than HD, but it's like about a DVD quality ish. Uh, because I tried it running it at like at the resolution of the monitor on this laptop, and it cannot do both at the same time, it cannot record and play it like that at the same time. So, I had to turn it down quite a bit, but uh, you know, I see it as like when I first played this game, uh, nobody really had an HD TV, and this game came out on Xbox, the original Xbox. So this is kind of true to what I had back then. Um, although I think I played it on a PC, uh, on an actual gaming desktop, my first gaming desktop. So it did look a little bit better than this, but you know, for uh, for this video's sake, um, we'll pretend that we're playing it at lower resolution to kind of stay true to the time it came out. This game came out in like 05, I believe, on the original Xbox first, and maybe PC at the same time. If not, PC came out like a year later. Um, and, uh, yeah, the story's good. The, uh, the gameplay's pretty fun. It's just like, you know, there's some things to collect and stuff. There's, you know, basic platforming. Secrets, you know, stuff like that. You know, just basic things. There's a double jump, you get this little attack, which I always thought looked cool, just like mind mind chops with the palm. You know. Secret shit you can do. Talking to the characters. I mean honestly half the game is just this platforming that's, you know, decent enough. Solid. Oh shit. You know, half the game is, you know, platforming and doing puzzles and uh, covering secrets like that, and the other half is really just listening to the story. Uh, you know, Double Fine, the company behind this, and then Tim Schafer, the, I would say, lead designer on this, uh, and writer, too, are just kind of like famous for having these kind of games that are just. I don't want to, like, belittle it, but they're kind of like, you know, like cartoons, like. 
animated films style uh, writing and stuff. Um, but again, I haven't played this since, what, 06, 07, I'd say? So it's been... God, how long is that? I can't do math real quick. <laughs> A long time. I'm due, you know. But Psychonauts 2 is finally coming out, so the sequel's coming out, and I'm, I'm just really trying to get uh, reacquainted with everything. And rather than read a wiki, I figured let's just play the game, and hopefully the game, uh, like I said, works on this laptop the whole time. I'm telling you for the last time, no! I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh! <laughs> I res. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. Shut up! face <laughs> oh my god Dogen man Dogen's a character I totally forgot about him until right now <laughs> Dogen is a freaking character let's see what's around here well let's see what time is it alright let's just uh there's more stuff to do around camp, but let me get up into this uh, get close to starting the first level. I'll save, and then the next episode, if everything worked out, if you're watching this, <laughs> next episode will be dope. Um, um, you know what? No, I'm, I'm thinking about it. You know what? Let's just save here. Next episode, we'll look around the camp. And we'll start the first level and, you know, we'll give it a proper intro. I don't want to go too long because if all this recording is, uh, you know, a waste of time, I'm just wasting my time. So, again, this, you know, first intro. Let's uh, save here. Cool. Quit the title. So, you know, there it is, Psychonauts. The next Let's Play. Let me get back to the desktop here. And there we go. So, you know, that's just a quick little peek. Quick first look. Super short episode, I think. But, again, I don't know if it's going to work. So, I don't want to, you know, go too long and then come back to this. And, uh, you know, I've had so many recording problems on this laptop. Uh, I don't want to do like a 45 minute episode and come back and be like, all right, everything's good. And then it's all unusable, super choppy. Everything's screwed. Like I just wasted 45 minutes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, you guys are, uh, interested in this. This is going to be a, I think it's going to be a good one. Um, I probably, I think thinking about it right now, I think I should move my face cam on the gameplay, but you know, again, this is episode one, almost episode zero, really. Of the let's play uh, next time should be you know better and it'll be longer. We'll actually get into some meat of the game. Um, but you know, just to introduce the game, this was Psychonauts. I got to come up with a name for the show. Uh, I don't know why I just like making names up for the shows that isn't just let's play Psychonauts. Uh, so by the time you see this, I'll probably have a name up. Um, but anyway, as always, if you enjoy this do the social media things, and, um, you know, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, uh, I'll try better, I'll try better, I'll try harder, I'll be, I'll get better, um, and, uh, maybe you'll come back, if not, thanks for stopping by, thanks for hanging out, thanks for making this far into the video, uh, but as, anyway, you know, as always, blessings.